So this is the old school. It uh, gives a lot of confusion here for me, David. It, it was, uh, I was pretty popular. I was on all the sports teams. I had the girls and, uh, and, I, was, and I was pretty intelligent. I was good at what they was asking me to do in class, but I didn't feel, I was just confused. I was confused about it all and uh, we had some good times though, some good times. I think this is the first place I ever used on this field here. That's where the old dining room used to be, isn't it? <laughs> it's the first, I can remember, I can remember drinking bottles of cider, right? And, uh, and, and being violently sick and thinking, this is fucking all right, this, I'm, I'm gonna do this again, you know? And, uh, and then, uh, and then uh, I got jailed. I got jailed at school. I, uh, I got locked up, and uh, and that was sort of the gate. I'd been I'd been dabbling with drugs, you know, like my non sleeping tablets, and but I didn't smoke. A box deny. I? I didn't smoke, and so and and oh fucking hell, yeah, yeah, gym. This was the gym, innit? it? And I used to get you all know, to bring raging uh, mum's medicines cabinets and. Bring the drugs in, and I'd sort out anything that was worth taking, and, and distribute the rest to you, and sell your shite. And, uh, yeah, and I got jailed. I got jailed, and uh, things weren't the same then. I seen a video. I got shown a video in prison to show me, to tell me not to use drugs. You know, when uh, and it sets off an obsession. You know, I show, I, they showed me people injecting heroin and I came out and I obsessed about it and I came out and I, I used heroin, you know, so like I left school, I left this school with some O-levels, some GCSEs, a, a criminal record and a drug habit, you know, and uh, I had no aspiration. I'd sit, I, I spoke about confusion earlier. I, I'd, I, I'd sit in classes and I'd hear guys going on. They wanted to, to be a computer programmer. They wanted to join the army. They wanted to do all these things. I didn't have a fucking clue what I wanted to do. You know, I, I just didn't like... I didn't know what to do. I just know I didn't want to work. I wanted easy money. I couldn't quite get my head around the concept of going to work for a week. It was a week back then. And, uh, and then waiting for a full, all full week to get paid. I couldn't understand that. That, I didn't want to do that. You know, and I suppose like at home, at home I'd see my mum and dad working and they was great, they provided everything for me. I didn't want for nothing. And uh, they, uh, and I see them both working. I'd be really stressed out about work. Do you know what I mean? I thought, I don't want that in my life. You know, I don't want all that stress. And, uh, and drugs just seem a bit, drugs just seem the best option. You know, I'd smoke weed with you. You know, when uh, the sports went out the window. You know, and uh, I'd just go and find people that was using and drink and use with them. And then move on to the next lot. You know, and then, but it, and then heroin quickly got a grip. You know, and, uh, and funnily enough, they told me if I used heroin in that video, that I'd go back to prison and I'd end up in places, they showed like a squat, you know, and I'd end up in places like that. And I did, you know, I, I went back to prison quite regularly. Uh, it was an adventure. I got to a place with prison that, uh, I'd be on the sweat box, looking out the window, thinking, really confused, how do people live their lives without taking drugs? I'd, I'd, I'd have a really good idea of what meal I'd be getting when they get in there, depending on the day of the week. And, and I'd be terrified that they wouldn't give me a detox, because I didn't think, <laughs> because I didn't think that I looked like an addict. <laughs> I was in a white suit, I was grey, about, about two stone, and, uh, and, I'd be t and I'd be thinking, they ain't gonna give it, you know, they ain't gonna give me, a de they ain't gonna give me a detox. Oh yeah, Thomas Percival detox, uh, awesome. I'd never thought of this place for years. 
So you suggested it. Uh, I've been in here loads of times. Uh, there was no such word as recovery when we started coming in here. It was, uh, it, it was like it was a four week and they used to let you go home after a few weeks for the weekend. And, and of course I used them now to get kicked out. And uh, what led me to wanting to go in here? The consequences of me using, you know, I was sick of going to prison. I was sick of my parents on my case, you know, and, and disapproving looks from from old school friends and uh, uh, you know I, I, and I'd box you know I was I, I, like I said earlier I was pretty you know I, I was pretty popular and and, and that it, 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 you know and it was just I, and, and, and I got ordered here a couple of times by the courts you know and uh, and I suppose on some level I wanted to change you know and uh, I didn't want to be doing what I was doing anymore. I wanted to change, and uh, I wanted to. Yeah. I wanted to build a life. I wanted to build a life, I suppose. Yeah, I can, I can remember being there. I can remember coming in here once, right? I, I um, I'd been over doing the cycling thing, <laughs> and and V and, and George took me to the hospital. They'd had enough of me. I was psychosed. And, uh, and I used in the I used in the hospital, and the doctors couldn't make head or tail of what was going on. They got a tropical poisons expert out to come and examine me, and uh, and the upshot of it was I got emergency admitted to here at four o'clock in the morning, and uh, and and I, and I come round about three days later, thinking what what am I doing here? How did I get here? Then my missus came up with some clothes for me and show me she had some money, you know, and I was sort of discharged myself and went and used again and I really didn't want to. I, 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 uh, I didn't know how not to, you know, that I did not know how to use, not how to not use, you know, that's all I really needed, that's all I really knew to do, you know, and, I, I, and the sad thing about that is, I would think to myself, this isn't going to end well, this isn't going to end well and I'd go and do it anyway. This, I remember this place shut in as well, and there was another gaff, I can't remember the name. They opened another one, it was a psychiatric unit, and I got put into the detox, right, with uh, some really unwell people with psychiatric issues. And uh, <laughs> I, I took gear in with me. I took gear in with me that was gonna last, because it was an alcohol detox they wanted me to do that time and I, and, I, and I thought I'll make this gear last you know and I'd done the gear in the weekend and discharged myself and uh, my journey on detoxes didn't really end there you know I, I, I couldn't my change I, I, I came out of prison again I came out of prison and uh, and the kids mum was my missus was pregnant it wasn't mine I'd been in far too long for it to be mine and uh, and uh, and I ended up just going to London. So my uh, my pal came up with two National Express tickets, and we went to and I went to London with him to collect a car. And the car wasn't there. You know what I mean? Didn't get the car, but I didn't come back. You know, and I got five years. I got five years out of jail and nearly killed myself in that process. And I can remember going to the jail and going onto the drug and going onto the drug free wing and getting clean in the prison, and then not having. Not having a defence when I came out of prison, I had nothing. Do you know what I mean? I had nothing. And I can remember the overriding feeling of going into that prison was the relief that I didn't have to graft again. And, uh, and I came out and I used. And I started to look everywhere for help then. You know, and uh, I, did, I, I did loads of... De I didn't go back to prison, I'd done loads of detoxes and I'd come out, I'd go to detox, right? I, and I'd see my friends go to detox and they come out with a new haircut, new pair, uh, an haircut, a new pair of trainers, and he wasn't drinking Skull Super anymore, he was drinking Heineken or something. That was recovery, you know, uh, and that's what I did. I'd go in and, and, uh, and then I, I, and then I, I, I I got, I, I start, I, I start, right, so I did, did, the real change came for me. I, went, I, 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 got, I couldn't graft anymore. 
I'd got to that place where I couldn't, I was walking around London with a tatty old big issue, begging, trying to, you know, do, trying to disguise the fact that I'm begging with this tatty old big issue. And, uh, and I went and asked for help, you know, and, uh, and I did what they said and I went to detox and I come out of the detox and I went on a day programme. I made some real radical changes in my lifestyle. And then I went back into the detox to get abstinent. And when I was in that detox, uh, a subcommittee of Narcotics Anonymous, hospitals and institutions came in. And the guy that came in, the last time I'd seen this guy, he tried to rob me. He was fighting over crack. Uh, uh, and he was four and a half months clean. And he looked, he, he wasn't trying to rob me. He, 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 he wanted what was best for me. And, and I sat in that meeting and I haven't used since. And he just said, go and have a go. So I, went, so I live in Portsmouth. I went to, I was in, I, I, that last detox I spoke about where I got the message of recovery carried to me by Narcotics Anonymous. I then went on to uh, rehab in Portsmouth and, uh, and stayed. I, I, I just stayed in Portsmouth and I built a life. I built a life worth living. I have built a life where I don't need to take drugs. I don't need to commit crime, you know. And it was, uh, and it wasn't easy, you know. I went there with nothing. I didn't have a bank account. I didn't have, I didn't have, a, I didn't have. I had no teeth, <laughs> no veins, and not much hope, you know. Uh, and a lot of fear, you know, of going back where I came from and what was in front of me, you know. Uh, and, uh, and I've, and I've, with the help of some really good people, I built a life. I, I got myself. I got myself a, a little flat. I got myself educated. Uh, I got myself a little, a little zero contact hours uh, job working with street homeless people and rough sleepers. Then I started doing some youth work. I was working with youths, and then I went and worked back in the rehab where where um, where I went through. And then I went back and and, and I did some work uh, with housing first, with some mental health clients, outreach work, and in an hostel there. And uh, and. You know, and I've, I, and I've built family relationships back. My kids that have been taken off me, I mean, I've gone through the care system, are both back in my life, you know, and like, I, I, and today, uh, today I've dro I, I drove up last night for, after work and, uh, and I, came back to, I came back to Warrington from Portsmouth and I took my daughter, my granddaughter and my mum for a meal today and then we went to the park, you know, and that's the sort of stuff that makes me life worth living today, you know, and, and I really appreciate that I can be available in, and be with him at that park and not thinking about, let's, can we fuck off and go and use, do you know what I mean? I, I wanted it to last longer. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, working back in, I'm working back in the rehab where I went through again, you know, and I, 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 and I have just had an appraisal. I went back there on a, on a fixed term contract and I've, ju I've just had a review and I've been given a permanent contract and I'm just waiting for an appraisal to get a pay rise. I was really cheeky. He said nice things about me. I said, does a pay rise comes with that? You know, you don't actually don't get anyway. So they're going to do an appraisal and, and it's looking good as long as it gets the marks, you know. And, uh, uh, and, and I have got, you know, I've got a nice flat. I'm engaged to be married. I've got a car. It's all legal. I've got a passport. I've been all around all around Europe and, and I'm off to Turkey again next month, you know, and uh, all, you know, worries coming back through customs, you know, because I'm not doing anything wrong today, yeah. you know, and, uh, and, I, 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 and, I, and I get to spend time with David. We used to gather me and David and, uh, and we clean and he's going to take me for some food now. He's talking about takeaways, he can go and take me for some food. I need a ride, so I should have put this on the ride, or sparkling water and Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> I've got a life today that's full of love, laughter, happiness and hope. I am just a million miles from that kid that was in the sweatbox thinking that he's not going to get a detox off the doctor in prison and what's he going to do with his life, you know. I'm just a million miles away from that, you know. Uh, I, I, and it's because I put me recovery first, you know, and I, and, and I continue to do that. I help people where I can help people instead of trying to rob them, you know. When, uh, it's nice to be back in my hometown, Warrington, but it'll be even nicer when I drive down to the south coast tomorrow. You know, I even, the place I live is called South Sea. You know, I live right in the coast, and I've just got an all different perspective and outlook on life today. Life's all right when you choose to take part in it, you know, when there's some beauty around.
So this is we make Paul, like we 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 both use together. But if you can see that, like I was, I've been making all these films and like um, you know like we lost paths and then we kind of joined up again uh, together. So I think I even fucking all the cameras straight, can I? No, that's it, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, every time I move, it goes funny. What? She's right, focusing in on you. Yeah. <laughs> Should we leave and go for some tea? Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on then. Where are we going? Yeah, let's just get that out of here. Is that alright? Is that enough? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just stop this around. More you to eat, more power, no good devour. No more I live for king, I have a dream. All together dream. now. All together now. All together now. And that's how political. I know the 